<laughs> Mate, I can't believe he won 4 0. 4 0, one point for each goal. <laughs> I was just saying to Arsenal when Mason looked like Mason was going to get a fifth. I was going all. When he connected on that, yeah, he did. Ah! That is not going to stop me taking a piss. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am here with Paul, Jay, and Carl. We're outside Old Trafford, Manchester United 4. Chelsea nil. I'm going to say it again for Sophie stood behind the camera. Manchester United <laughs> 4. Chelsea nil. It's like 1994 all <laughs> over again. When I was five years old watching Canton, I slapped penalties past people. And uh, he was in goal then. I don't even know. Ed De Hoy. Dimitri Kareem on it in oh, goal. It? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Ed De Hoy. Isn't it upsetting when he talks about the age he was in 1994? <laughs> 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 We're young guys. Yeah, yeah, all right. You, you, you kids, eh? Do you know what I mean? Now, what like, about that today, though, Jake? That was like vintage. That was like a vintage. I know we say vintage United performance, but when's the last time we said that? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was looking at those players today, like Adam wan like Harry Maguire. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking they could have fit into a Sir Alex Ferguson team. That's how good they looked. They looked like they'd just been here for years, fitted in. And you know when we've had like question marks around defenders and all the rest of it, they just look comfortable, look comfortable on the ball. I thought Paul Pogba was, I thought I thought he was outstanding today. I know people have been disagreeing, but I did. I thought he just absolutely. been a little bit of a disagreement. Yeah, like, I, there's a few I, that said he's great. Yeah. He got two assists and, I, you, you know. know but, like, some of those through balls were just mint. And I know like now and again he loses it, but I don't mind that if he's pulling off balls like he was today. Do you know what I mean? And I just thought. Pulling off what? Balls. Pulling, <laughs> pulling my balls if he is today. That's what he's doing for me. Like, oh, Paul Abiel. <laughs> but, but yeah, man, it's just, it just like old lane at the end. At the end, 4-0 uh, up, all in with Mason Greenwood and all that, just getting in on the app. Daniel James as well. It's just one of them, innit? It's like, good to see Marcus and uh, Anthony Martial get off on the score sheet as well, because a lot of pressure on him, but... Toto's got his nine back! Yeah! I told you he's going to get it back. <laughs> mate, you know, you know. As soon as he got it back and it went through, That's I it. knew he was not missing. Honestly, mate, yeah, it's just one of them, innit? Do you know what I mean? It's just the perfect start to the season, and yeah, we're going to have tougher tests than this, but you can't grumble at that. Tougher tests than Chelsea, that's... Oh, 100%. I mean, when you saw the Chelsea starting eleven, and you think this is maybe the worst Chelsea starting eleven I can remember from the contemporary era, like, I, I think... I I don't... Th I could not have enjoyed that game more. I mean, it was, it was incredibly enjoyable, and I thought our attacking players put in an amazing shift, and I thought, like Jay said, Wan-Bissaka and Harry Maguire, the, the thing that's most almost surprising is how they just look completely at home in a red shirt and we've seen a lot of new signings come in and look lost that's the worry isn't it it's not their quality or their their talent because everyone that comes through the door here has got talent Absolutely. it's how they handle the pressure yeah and and they not only did they handle the pressure well they clearly elevate united's back four to a, i mean that that back four is a completely different proposition you're looking at it now and going Luke Shaw was probably the kind of dodgiest bit of that back four, which that was clearly not the case last season. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely delighted by that. But I think we're in for a really difficult season. I do. I think... What's it's, difficult um, compared to oh, yeah, no, what we've seen in what, the last six years? What I mean is, I don't think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... Um, it's going to be the same level of difficult. <laughs> what I think is it's going to be the same level of difficult. And it might I might be wrong, and it might be that the gaping hole in our midfield doesn't turn out to be a problem. I couldn't agree with Jay Moore. I thought Pogba was excellent, and I think we should allow Pogba to make mistakes. I think it's mad to have players of that level of creativity and talent and go, oh, when they try a 360 and it doesn't come off. <laughs> like, just pass it simple. It's like, well, no, don't just pass it simple because you can do so much more than that. And it does so much more good when it comes off than bad when it doesn't. I mean, there'll be dodgy moments from that, but he's so far from being the problem with our midfield, it's untrue. Um, the one problem is our goal difference. We're one goal behind City, <laughs> so it could be a problem come May. But... Um, Carl, what did you make of that today? Obviously, turning up, no one expected 4-0. No. But there was kind of expectancy that we'd win. Mm. Yeah, do you know what? The first 10, 15 minutes, I thought, you know, it's going to be last season all over again. But, uh, after, you know, we've got that penalty. They've hit the post twice, I think. Bar once. I post they hit the post in one shot, uh, twice in one shot yeah. at one point. And obviously, we've got the penalty, put us 1-0 out. Going in 1-0 at half time probably does the favour, settle us down a little bit. Um, <laughs> It was good. I think the only problem we are going to have this Mate, season... You're way too short to be in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem we are going to have this season, I think, where we should, where we should have strengthened with the midfield. Defensive midfield is all right, but it's that, that pass from midfield 
to forwards. I think where we're going to lack, we're obviously relying on Pogba heavily. Yeah, that's the thing because City they've got. If Maybe. De Bruyne ain't finding the pass, Bernardo Silva, that's whoever it. else, and we've we've kind of just got Pogba where we're relying on. Um, today though, you know, some will say he didn't perform, some will say he did, but regardless, we won. Yeah. How important is it that the other players kind of pick up? the mantle when 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 the likes of Pogba aren't performing we're going to need to well they're going to need to they're going to need to do it they're going to need to you know put people on their back when other people are playing not that well do you know what I mean because that, that's the hard part and parcel in the team do you know what I mean but um you know after today people are going to get carried away but we, I don't think we can get too carried away because of our squad depth it's not great like you say you look at City and they've got two players in each position that are getting our team any day of the week um you know but after today everything we could get carried away get getting carried away no, I do. I've put money on us winning the league, but I'm not, <laughs> not getting carried away or anything. On it, you'd be right, you? <laughs> um, man of the match? I'm going to go Tony Marshall because he's got his nine back. Yes, Tony Marsh got the nine back. Uh, Paul? I give it Bissaka and Maguire. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, one Bissaka is going to be man of the match a lot between if now Harry and Maguire is man of the match for the whole season, we can actually win the league. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. It is possible. Um, I. The, the thing, my whole approach to this season. This is the season of fun, right? This is this is my plea to the United fans everywhere around the world. Season this is the season of fun. Like, let's enjoy the good stuff. Let's not get too, too, too bothered when it doesn't go the way it's meant to go or we want it to go. Like, this has to be. There's an element of rebuilding to this. We want to see this team playing vibrant, creative, attacking football. And when it doesn't go right, we shouldn't get too too mad about it we should like i really think this is the season of fun that's the key season of fun and 21 <laughs> yeah